Hey, sorry about that little uh, bros and bros and practices. I had a little bit of an important phone call I had to do. So unfortunately, I had to make this a two-part video. So hopefully, you guys see the whole thing if you want to. Hopefully, the guy that you guys do. But um, other than that, um, let's get it started from where we were at before. So basically, after um, the mysterious hairdresser villain girl, whatever, headmistress, um, she ends up stealing all of the um, power ponies and stuff. And sorry if I'm sounding out of breath because I just came back from the gym and stuff too after I did that phone call or whatever. This is about almost a day later, <laughs> even though it'll be on the same day posted, but just don't mind that shit at all. See, I pretty much, um, without further ado, now let me start this thing real quick. See, after that, um, she gets the orb and all that shit. Hopefully you saw the whole episode, and if not, spoiler alerts ahead. If you haven't seen the first part, check that, put that link down below. And yeah, basically after that, what happens is let me get a drink or this real quick, because like I said, it came back from the gym. Mm. Beautiful stuff in the world. After that spike, aka humdrum, he ends up um, actually saving the ponies because um, before he ends up saving them, he ends up overhearing the headmistress and the main six ponies. And after that, like um, after the headmistress lady, she ends up insulting um, humdrum because he um, doesn't have any superpowers and he's useless and he's a piece of crap and stuff. Um, then Twilight Sparkle ends up defending him, aka the one in the comic book, which I forgot her name is, all the names unfortunately. Um, she says, oh, at least Spike or Humdrum in our world of Equestria or Canterlot, um, of, um, what's it called? <laughs> Meritropolis. He's actually a helpful and useful assistant. He's amazing. We love him no matter what. And they all say, yeah, we love him so much. But all the main six really care about him and they love what he does and, they, and he loves them back and stuff. So he still has respect for them there. And then he starts crying. He's like, oh, I can't believe you guys really love me. He's like, oh, whatever. All oh, you will meet your doom. And you will die. And after that, um, what happens after that is that, um, unfortunately, for the bad guys, for the pony grunts or the henchmen or whatever you want to call them, they end up getting, like, um, bombarded by Spike, some really huge-ass freaking um, cape or whatever. And another crazy thing about it is that um, he ends up taking them all down or whatever. And hear noise and bark in the background. That's just the TV downstairs. Don't mind that. And after that, another crazier part is that um, he ends up humdrum, he actually ends up becoming useful, a.k.a. Spike. He takes down all the runts and the bad guys and the henchmen or whatever, pony henchmen. And he finally goes face to face with that chick, Meritropolis. And then what happens afterwards after this is unfortunately his shit gets, gets way out of hand. And um, the Mare Six Ponies, the main six ponies, a.k.a. the ponies of Equestria and the Meritropolis, end up getting set free because every five seconds or five minutes this guy would put this like thing on there the freeze ray gun right there to say freeze um make the ponies with drains all their powers useless and humdrum ends up kicking the crap out of that thing aka spike out of the horse and he ends up making a horse song he's like ee -hee -hee. and boom and dies and after that they do all their little discussions and talking and stuff it's like oh i'll take you all down and after that like they all use their superpowers blah 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 rainbow dash and applejack definitely kicked a lot of ass surprisingly we already did a little bit of funny things she ends up making a staircase downstairs, and then Pinkie Pie goes, wee, and the same with Fluttershy, <laughs> a little surprisingly enough. And um, as Fluttershy ends up escaping, he's like, oh, I think all the other ponies, they got this. I don't really have to do anything, because I'm not really getting mad. And then Spike's like, oh, but Fluttershy, you have to power pony up, pony power up, whatever you call it. He's like, I'm just not feeling it, Spike, I'm sorry, I don't want to get mad or angry and lose my temper. And she's like, I'm trying. It's this funny little cute adorable voice that she always uses. Shout out to um, Adrienne Lehman for making that one. And Pinkie Pie, it's fucking hilarious. This album just works so damn well and epic for her. And after that, they exchange a few words. And then, like, the head, hair, headmistress hairdresser or whatever lady, the lady dresser headmistress, a joker pony, she ends up slapping the crap out of an innocent little um, firefly. He's like, how dare you? We heard an innocent little butterfly. Firefly, I'm gonna destroy you! And she, she ends up doing that snowflake, yeah, voice or whatever. And uh, he, she ends up going in a low demonic voice and she turns into a Incredible Hulk pony, or the Thing pony. It's crazy as hell. And after that, she finally gets, kicks the shit out of freaking Humdrum, not Humdrum, but the evil Joker pony, Joker pony. And she ends up flying, sends her, she literally like, sends her off flying out of nowhere and just crashes into the wall. And she's like, my mane, no, he destroyed my beautiful mane. How could you, evil ponies? Curse the power ponies, I'll get you something. And after that, she just starts laughing all crazy, like, ha ha ha, ha 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 And all psychopathic Joker-like, you know? It has that deep sea Marvel kind of feel to it, you know? That's probably why they showed that at Comic-Con, I wonder, earlier this year. And after that, what happens is that, um, they end up thanking Spike, saying, oh, Spike, you did it, you saved us all. 
and he sits down once again to say was day was saved by the power ponies and after that he ends up finishing his line Pinkie Pie ends up getting a couple cupcakes at the end he's like Pinkie Pie where in Equestria did you get these cupcakes where in Celestia did you get these cupcakes at oh they were like the Beartropolis Cupcake Factory I was 65 blocks away and that wasn't even that fast at all it was a real, real, really good trip and she ends up talking real super fast and speedy and everything breaking that fourth wall reference once again I gotta give credit where credit is due to Miss Andrea and Lehman for playing both of those Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy voices Best ponies of the main set. I'm just gonna say it like that. Besides Rarity, even though know, that's Tap as a Saint Germain, she's still cool as fuck too. And after that, what happens finally at the end is like I definitely learned my lesson. And Twilight Sparkle ends up asking Spike, Spike, where in the Celestia did you get that comic book? Oh, I got it at the Canterlot and Chanak Comic Bookstore. And they all roll their eyes. They're like, Spy. And they finally work, learn what their lesson is. And they end up going to that moral of the story. Typical MLP ish. DHX Entertainment, the hub. Uh, you couldn't expect anything more from them, but that's still cool as fuck, nevertheless, for the younger audience who are supposed to be targeted to, but bronies like me, in their teens, 20s, 30s, 40s, even 50s, I would even argue 50s, 60s, would love the crap out of that, literally. But other than that, what happens is um, Spike learns his lesson, I thought it was fake, I thought it was to be enchanted for the catchphrase, and after that, they all like roll their eyes like, shame on you, Spike, and they all laugh at the end too, because Pinkie Pie's eating her little cupcakes, beautiful Pinkie Pie as well. And that's all I have to say about this whole um, part one and part two of um, Power Ponies. Amazingest thing in the world. I can't wait till episode seven. I think it's the one with Rarity. She goes to Manhattan and starts her own new carousel boutique. But New York City, a.k.a. the Manhattan of Equestria, obviously. And that's pretty much all I have to say. And overall views, opinions, and um, outlook on it. Very amazing. The two brand new writers, I think her name was Betty Morrison and... Um, Betsy and Sarah. I think those are two people's names. They did really amazing, tremendous job writing the script. The storyboard for it, of course, you know, it was always Megan McCarthy. There's nothing new there. Her and Dave Polsky, they definitely did really good work on the engine and the background. Graphics were beautiful. All the storyline, the plot. This was probably a lot of ways that Bronies would react to this or any other fandom like Doctor Who, Star Trek, Pokemon, any anime mangas out there, any video game franchise, any Star Wars thing, science fiction, romance, novelties, comedy, adventure action. The list goes on and on and on and on and on, literally beyond my fucking reach and that's pretty much all I had to say and I like all the powers and special effects they had same thing that they got the powers in real life for My Little Pony and Equestria and Canterlot except Rarity's the only difference except she's supposed to be good at creativity the only difference is she's making out of her mind with her bare hands she's like the Green Lantern and the Martian or something from DC Comics from the Justice League that's what I'm getting the vibes from that was amazing so that was my best scene thus far that where Rainbow Dash makes the big giant tornado and all of them are spinning around and Pinkie Pie she does a pink swirl in it that was the best scene too second the best scene third the best scene was the part where um, they all end up like defeating her at the end that was epic as hell I loved every single moment of it and I love when Fluttershy got angry a lot of people are liking it especially she claps her hooves like ding, 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 like that that was awesome as hell you know I loved every single second of it her shyness definitely ended up being reverse opposite that's what a lot of Bronies probably weren't expecting. I was taken by surprise. I was like, what the fuck? Fluttershy, won since when does Fluttershy become the new Incredible Hulk? That's all I'm asking, you know. Anybody give me an answer to that. <laughs> but that's all I have to say for now. So like I always do say, peace out, bros, women, bronies, and sisters. I will see you when I see you guys have a good day, have a good night, or if you're out around the world. Um, don't drink smoke weed at the same time. Don't think I'm reckless. Um, peace out. See you soon. Laters. Goodbye. All that good shit. And um, before I do, um, finish this off. Definitely go on to wikia.com if you want to check all these new pictures out of the episode. Really good stuff here. I would suggest you check all this out. It's amazing. Well detailed and it explains a lot more of the better episodes than I do myself. Because that's literally a fucking dictionary. I'm not sure if any of you guys can see it. It's a very wonderful epic. You have all the diagnostics, the continuity, all the story plots, everything you want to like break down into one like analysis. They got it for you. This is definitely the one checking out. Uh, MyLittlePony.com slash wiki. I'll put the link down in the description down below. Look at Pinkie Pie. She's just awesome as hell. Beautiful as Pony of Equestria. That's all I'm going to say right there. And uh, that's all I got to tell you right now. Peace out. Be easy. Stay safe. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Alright? And uh, before I do go, I'm going to be doing more reviews. I might do a New Year's Eve special. We'll see what happens. I hope I'm not drunk by then. <laughs> alright. Peace out. Goodbyes. I'm, uh, I'm gone. <laughs>